chemical research come the thousands of products that contribute to better living. The DuPont Company, maker of better things for better living through chemistry, presents the DuPont Cavalcade Theater, dramatic stories of people who are a part of the Cavalcade of America. stood on the threshold of greatness or oblivion. It is a true story. The boy as you know him today, Jackie Jensen, ace outfielder for the Boston Red Sox. And the man whose guidance and friendship made the difference. That's him with the bat, Ralph Kirchhoff, director of physical education, Oakland Junior High School. But our story begins some 15 years ago. It was the beginning of a new term at Oakland Junior High School. We'll see if Mr. Kirchhoff can do something about you. Come in. Now, you wait here. Yes, ma'am. Do you know what that Jensen boy said to me? Expel me. See if I care. Any idea what started the fight? I've never seen such fury in a boy. He's going to give us a bad time. You know, that's a pretty negative picture you've drawn of the boy, Miss Holmes. I'll talk to him. There you go. Jumping to the defense of a boy you don't even know. <laughs> I've never yet seen a boy who didn't have a few pluses along with the minuses. All right. I've watched him play baseball. He feels the ball like a wizard. And he hits the same. Does that help? Yeah, I think it does. Come in, Jackie. Relax, Jackie. I don't bite. My name is Jack. Oh. You can sit down if you want to. All right, stand if you like. Nobody makes fun of me just because I sell papers or because I don't wear a new suit to school. Lots of boys sell papers, Jack. I did myself, and I don't think I ever got into a fight about it. I don't wear suits either. Nobody laughs at me and gets away with it. Hey, that's no way to carry a baseball glove all rolled up like that. Let me see it. Shifts the padding, see? Miss Holmes says I was going to be expelled. That's all right with me. Think it'll be all right with your parents? My father's in Hawaii. He's a colonel in the Air Corps. I'll go live with him. He'll be glad to have me. Is your mother out there, too? Well, uh, no. The climate out there is no good for her. I'll show you some of the letters he writes me if you don't believe me. Well, why shouldn't I believe you? Here you are, Jack. You can go now. Is that all? No, Jack, I think maybe you'd better start whittling down that chip you wear on your shoulder. And weigh a fella down. Well, if I broke a rule... I think you've punished yourself enough. Oh, Jack, I ate my lunch here in the office. Why don't you stop in tomorrow? We can eat together. Do you really want me to? Sure. I won't keep this rolled up anymore. Good. Ball two. Won't you put it over the plate for a change, Jensen? Come on, over the plate, then you can go peddle your papers. Come on, come on. You did that deliberately, didn't you? All right, get out of the game. I wasn't going to play much anyway. I've got an appointment with Mr. Kirchham. Well, tell him what happened out here. Oh, 
not very encouraging, is it? Father and mother separated since he was three. Mother works. Boy lacks stability, insecure, given to temper outbursts. Tends to withdraw from social contacts. He's gonna need help. Lots of it. You know, yesterday he invented a father for me. A colonel in Hawaii. Imagine him lying about a thing like that. What he got there, Jackie? That's it. You ought to try a little more wrist action, though. Name's Jack. Sorry, I forgot. You gonna be a pitcher, Jack? Pitcher or outfield? I'm not sure yet. Look for you at lunch today. You didn't show up. I was there. I didn't want to interrupt you. You and Miss Holmes were talking about me. Well, we're interested in you, Jack. That's why we were talking about you. You know I lied about having a father. I didn't think of it as being a lie. You know, sometimes the things people wish for become pretty real to them. Not only to boys. Not bad. Now, well, forget that wrist, though. We'll make your fastball a lot more lively. Thanks. I'm going to be a professional ball player when I'm old enough. You've got a lot to learn first, Jack. Ball play is only a ninth of a team. You've got to learn to get along with the other eight. Oh. I guess you heard about me trying to bean that kid today. Yeah? You know, those boys aren't going to be anxious to play with you again. Or against you, for that matter. I can't help it if nobody likes me. I try to get along. Hey, I'll tell you what. I've got a couple of tickets to the Oakland Seals game. Would you like to come with me? We could talk about it then. Like to? Boy, would I like to! Come on, I'll walk you home. Let your mother see what your new friends are like. Jackie became one of the many boys that Ralph Kirchham took under his wing. Although his athletic greatness amounted almost to genius, Jackie's lack of enthusiasm for his schoolwork was noticeable. If you do as I told you, there's no reason why you shouldn't win this game. Now get out there and hustle. Let's go. Oh. Uh, Jackie. Yes? I dropped by a house to see you last night. You weren't home. I know. Mom told me. I was out with some friends. Your mother's told me about your friends. This is what I wanted to see you about, your midterm school grades. You got an F in math, D in social studies, and three unsatisfactories in work habits. I'm gonna be a ball player, not a professor. How many times have I told you that junior high school isn't a training ground for athletes? I'll try and get my grades up by the end of the term. I'm gonna see that you have time to bring them up right now, Jack. What do you mean? I'm gonna withdraw you from athletics. When your teachers say you're ready, then you can come back. And I thought you were my friend. Well, you can play this game. Better get out there. Get yourself another outfielder. Okay, let's play ball. Good evening, Mr. Curry. Evening, Miss Jensen. Jackie around? Well, he went out right after supper. He wouldn't tell me where he was going. Mm. He hasn't been to school in three days. I thought he was ill. Have you any idea where he is? They hang out on 6th Street, those rotten kids. Jackie's with them. I do my best with him. I know you do. You know, he's... He's a different boy since he met you. He talks about you like you were his own father. I never dreamed he'd play hooky again. Well, I'll see if I can find him and bring him back home. Well, Mr. Kirchham, maybe you'd better take a policeman with you. You don't know those kids. I won't need a policeman. But he might not come back with you. I think he will. Good night. Good night, and thank you. Hi, Jack. Who is he? What's he want? I want you to come with me, Jack. I want to talk to you alone. I'll go when I'm ready. Beat it, mister. You heard him. He'll go when he wants to. Come on, Jack. You want him? You come and get him. All right. I will. Oh, 
All right, stand aside. You better go while you can, mister. trouble if you hadn't come over. I wanted to as soon as I saw you. What is it, Jack? Nothing. Now, come on, something's bothering you. What is it? It's nothing. Well, if I'd have had a father, he'd have come after me just like you did. Forget it. You're not sore at me, are you? Sore at you. I'm proud of you, Jack. Came over of your own account, didn't you? Guess so. You know, I think you got it made. Now all we have to do is get your grades up. And we're going to get started on that right away. Sure, Coach. <laughs> Ralph undertook a new role on his own time, evenings and weekends, he instilled in the boy a respect for learning. And out of this close friendship, Jack found a feeling of security, of belonging. We will return to Cavalcade Theater right after tonight's story of DuPont Chemistry. quietly until I get ready, darling. You know, it took me hours to iron your dress, and I don't want you to get it must. This scene should be very familiar to any woman who's fought a losing battle with clothes that look pretty, but wrinkle easily and are difficult to press. But the picture's changed considerably since man-made fibers have come into being, for they've made possible fabrics that act as pretty as they look. New fabrics made from DuPont nylon, Orlon acrylic fiber, and Dacron polyester fiber became popular almost overnight because they combined luxury with ease of care. Of course, each of these man-made fibers has its own characteristics, and each has given imaginative textile designers ideas on how best to use it. For instance, this suit I'm wearing looks like a traditional Shantung fabric. Yet it's been washed and drip-dried a dozen times without ironing, because it's made entirely of Dacron. But some time ago, DuPont, working closely with textile manufacturers, discovered that they could combine the advantages of man-made and natural fibers. So they blended Dacron with cotton. Many tests were conducted in the DuPont laboratories. Fiber combinations of all kinds were tested, both in old familiar weaves and in brand new effects. The result was something new under the sun. A yarn blended of Dacron and cotton. It was wrinkle resistant and enhanced cotton's traditional beauty. Men were the first to discover its advantages when shirts made of the new fabric appeared in the window of a fashionable New York men's shop. But women too knew a good thing when they saw it. And before long, blends of Dacron and cotton began appearing in lovely fabrics of many types for dresses, blouses, and lingerie. Now more than ever, dainty, feminine frocks are making fashion news. They're as easy to care for as they are beautiful. And when Dad goes on trips, he likes to travel light in handsome shirts of Dacron and cotton that he can wash, drip dry, and wear again with little or no pressing. And his cool summer suit is wash and wear, too. It can be put right in the washing machine and then hung up to drip dry. In a few hours, it'll look as neat and well-pressed as this one does. Little, if any, ironing is needed. It's a matter of choice. For sportswear, wash and wear slacks of Dacron and cotton are becoming the nation's favorite. They're so cool and comfortable and so easy to keep neat and fresh looking. Yes, today Dacron has given new life to cotton 
and a new beauty, a well-behaved beauty, thanks to the chemical research that developed Dacron polyester fiber, another of DuPont's better things for better living through chemistry. And now, back to Cavalcade Theater. Later on in high school, Jack was elected student body president. And in athletics, too, his star shines bright. some girl? I didn't invite you over here to pry into my love life. Here. Read the address on top. United States Navy. Pre-flight naval aviation cadet program. I don't get it. What's it all about, coach? That's a list of my qualifications. As soon as they decide what to do with me, they can have me. You mean you're... Gosh, I'm going to be kind of lost without you, coach. That's why I asked you over here tonight, Jack. I've been a little afraid of this. You know, I think I've done too much of your thinking for you. Made too many decisions for you. Before you leave here tonight, I want you to tell me just where you're heading. What do you mean? Jack, what do you want out of life? I don't know. I, I never thought much about it. I guess my interests are mostly about sports. But I guess I ought to do something else, too. Like what? You think I'm crazy. No, I won't. Come on, come on. Like what? Well... I expect to make seven letters in sports before finishing here at Oakland High. After that? After that, I'm going to the University of California. Ah, well, that's what I hoped. What are you going to major in? I'm not sure. Maybe physical education or, or boys' work. Kind of like you. I'm going to play varsity football, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to make All-American. And so am I. After that? After that, I'm going to play professional baseball in the major leagues. But you finish college first. Oh, yeah, Coach. I've got to do that because, well, if I ever get the chance, I want to do for other kids, well, what you've done for me. And I've got to be prepared. Come here, Jack. Here, you hold this. What are you going to do? Jack, is there anything you've said to me over there you might want to retract? No. Hey, what's this all about? Well, it's kind of an insurance policy, Jackie. You're going to tell me everything you told me over there, and, well, we're going to record it, just in case you want to play it back again. Now, sit down. You're on. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Well, look, suppose I make it easy for you. I'll just ask you questions, and all you have to do is answer them. And the only prize you're going to get is that record. What you tell me you were most interested in? My name's Thompson, George Thompson. What can I do for you, Mr. Thompson? I've been watching that Jensen kid all afternoon. He's got what it takes. Yeah, you won't get much argument there. I understand you're going into the Navy. That's right, in a couple of days. This might be a good time to do a little business with you. What kind of business? I manage a few ball players here and there. Sort of an independent broker, you might say. Come to the point, Mr. Thompson. All right. If the price is right, I'd like to buy your interest in the Jensen kit. I have no saleable interest in him. He'll jump whichever way you tell him. That's the same thing, isn't it? He's ready to make some good dough at baseball. I've got some Class D clubs crying for a kid like that. He's got high school to finish first, Mr. Thompson, and then college. After that, he may play pro ball, but not Class D. There's a few hundred in it for you if you help me swing it. Better get out of here, Mr. Thompson. No offense, Mr. Kirchham. Just business, that's all. Hey, Coach, guess what happened? You'll never believe. 
believe it. <laughs> Jack, I'll never believe what? I got an offer to play pro ball. You're going to get a lot of them before you finally sign up. You know, it's kind of sad packing these things away. Wonder when I'll put them out again. Well, listen to me. I told Mr. Thompson I might take it. You didn't sign, though. No, I wanted to talk to you first. You know what I'd say. Well, Mr. Thompson said I could go back to school in the fall. It's no good, Jackie. They're two different kinds of life. They won't mix. But, Coach, you don't understand. Mom could quit working. I'd make enough for both of us. I understand all that, Jack, but... Well, for how long? Till you wrench your back or lose your batting eye? Then what have you got left? A couple of wonderful moments on a Class D ball club. Mr. Thompson thinks I'm ready to make a living at it. Your Mr. Thompson isn't a regular baseball man, Jack. And he's not an official baseball scout. Then you're telling me not to sign? I told you before, you'd have to learn to make your own decisions. Couldn't you at least say no? I'll feel better about it. No, you won't. You'll resent it. You'll think I stood in your way. No, Jack, this is one problem you're going to have to wrestle with yourself. All right. I'm a big boy now. I'm going to sign. All right, but remember this. The country's full of has-beens who quit school at 15. Don't worry, coach. I won't come to you for any handouts. Mom, Mom, you're gonna sign it, aren't you? Mr. Kirchham doesn't want you to do it, does he? He says anything I do is all right with him. He wants you to go on with your schooling. He said so a hundred times. But you won't have to work anymore. Jackie. I've managed till now. I think I can hold out a little longer. Oh, but gee, Mom, I want to play baseball more than anything else in the whole world. I know. Look, why don't you have one more talk with Mr. Kircham? You mean right now? He's leaving tomorrow night. I'm sure he's home. All right, but, well, suppose I feel the same as I do now. When I get back, I mean. Well, I'll wait up for you. And if you still want me to, I'll sign the papers. Oh, gee, swell, Mom. Kind of an insurance policy, Jackie. You're going to tell me everything you told me over there, and the only price you're going to get is that record. What'd you tell me you were most interested in? Well, mostly interested in sports. Uh huh. How many letters are you going to make it in high school? <laughs> well, I plan on making seven letters before I graduate. After that? Well, after that, after high school, I'm going to the University of California. What are you going to major in? I'm going to major in physical education so that I can help other kids like you have. Did you say something about making All-American? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try and make All-American in football. Uh -huh. And after that? Well, after college, I'm going to I'm going to play professional baseball in the major league. But you're going to finish college first. Yeah, Coach. I'm going to finish college. Well, that sounds like a pretty full schedule, Jack. Oh, yeah. There's one other thing about, about helping those kids. I'll work at that during the winters. Huh? Sounds about it, Jack. You're on the record now. You're on your own. I won't have to worry about you anymore.
quite a few years have passed since that night, and every dream Jackie spoke into that recording machine came true. He made his seven letters in high school, and in 1947, he helped the University of California baseball team win the intercollegiate title from Yale University. He played football at the University of California just as he said he would. And in 1948, he was overwhelmingly voted All-American. Jackie Jensen's outstanding achievements in baseball are known to all. For two years in a row, he received the Ted Williams Trophy for being the most valuable player on his team. And he served in the United States Navy when his services were needed there. And Ralph Kirchham, the man whose friendship meant so much to him, his rewards have been many too. Just wonderful. We arrived from Boston yesterday. Oh, come on over and sit down. Not yet. What, is somebody with you? We have a new addition to the Jensen family. Now, wait a minute. You didn't... Oh, right? not that kind. This one came by plane from Boston. I want you to meet him. Come on in, Tim. Come on. Ralph, Tim's going to live with us for a while. Shake hands with Mr. Kirchham. Ah, oh, glad to know you, Timmy. Say, there's usually a box of candy bars on a shelf in the kitchen. Okay, go ahead. Right over there, Timmy. And my name is Tim. Oh, I beg your pardon. Tim. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over and sit down. Okay. What do you think of him? You know, he reminds me a little bit of... <laughs> well, I like him very much. Well, he's had a lot of trouble. And he's going to need a lot of help. And I'm counting on you to give me a hand with him. It scares me sometimes when I, I think about how much trouble I used to be. Well, it gets easier as you go along, Jack. Maybe. I guess he's my boy like I used to be yours. You still are. Well, how about that? That makes you a grandfather, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess it does. Grandpa? <laughs> well, how about that, Grandpa? Hey, that's not bad at all for an old bachelor. <laughs> not bad at all. Jackie Jensen has fulfilled himself in the finest tradition of the American athlete. And Ralph Kirchham, his family of youngsters, has never stopped growing. He continues to live a life of dedication to the youth of America. What you have just seen was a true story. you to be with us again next week when the DuPont Company of Wilmington, Delaware will again present the DuPont Cavalcade Theater. <laughs>